the Adler Planetarium, a Chicago attraction that is literally out of this world. It's the first planetarium not just in the United States, but in the entire Western Hemisphere. Opened in 1930 on the shore of Lake Michigan on Chicago's museum campus, this historic institution offers Chicagoans incredible opportunities to not only learn about space, but also look directly at the sun. What's good, YouTube? It's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to my channel. This video is all about Chicago's gateway to the cosmos, the Adler Planetarium. The Adler Planetarium was founded by Max Adler, who once served as an executive for Sears Roebuck & Company. It was originally planned to be part of the Museum of Science and Industry before getting its own building. In 1928, Adler and its cousin Ernest Grunsfeld Jr. visited the planetarium in Munich, Germany after hearing rave reviews. They later returned to Chicago, inspired to build the first planetarium in the United States. Grunsfeld was commissioned to design the structure and he produced one of the most unique and beautiful buildings in the entire city. An extraordinary example of Art Deco architecture, the planetarium is constructed with rainbow granite and features relief sculptures of all 12 astrological signs. Its original name is the Adler Planetarium and Astronomical Museum of Chicago. In 1931, the American Institute of Architects presented Ernest Grunsfeld with a gold medal for his design of the structure. In 1999, the Sky Pavilion was constructed as an addition to the Adler, greatly expanding the exhibit space while maintaining the original world-class design. Basic museum entry includes access to all the exhibits, but where the Adler Planetarium really shines is in their sky shows. I recommend seeing at least one during your visit. They've got three theaters to choose from, all playing movies that will greatly expand your knowledge about space. Here are some of the Adler's exhibits, each of which is interactive and informative. Chicago's Night Sky, Mission Moon, our solar system, the Duane Observatory, which recently got a brand new telescope. It's the largest publicly accessible telescope in the entire Chicago area and presents visitors with a unique opportunity to look directly at the sun. Space Visualization Lab, Astronomy and Culture, the Universe, a walk through space and time, and telescopes through the looking glass. The Adler also periodically offers special events like Adler After Dark, an after-hour, adults-only event that opens the planetarium to guests and provides unique entertainment and educational opportunities. They also offer Sun Salutations Yoga, a unique class that takes place inside the museum and incorporates yoga with knowledge of the universe. Memberships start at $60 and include benefits like free admission at sky shows, discounts on Adler After Dark tickets, and subscription to the Adler magazine. The Adler is much more than a planetarium. Here are my insider tips for getting the most out of your visit. It's a great place to bring the kids. If you want to avoid the crowds, make sure you come early, and even better, come on a weekday. Be prepared to read. A lot of the Adler exhibits have great quantities of text, so you can really learn. The Adler Planetarium can be done in half a day, but if you are there for lunch, the cafe actually serves up pretty good food. And finally, the views of the Chicago skyline from the Adler Planetarium are unmatched. The Adler Planetarium gives Chicagoans and visitors an array of opportunities to learn about our planet and position in the universe. Its place in history as the Western Hemisphere's first planetarium in an award-winning building on Chicago's historic museum campus makes it one of the most unique destinations in the galaxy. This wraps up our detailed look at all three museums on museum campus in Chicago. Check out my Things to Do in Chicago playlist for more great videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. I will see you next time. Peace.